Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Heisey. I'm a working mom of a 34 month old, almost three year old toddler named Alina, and I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant with our baby number two. Today's video is going to be all about organizing toys and books because I started to feel a little stressed with the amount of toys we have, and we need a nursery for our baby number two, so we just need more space. So today I need to do a major decluttering, make a proper toy closet that's functional and practical. And finally, I'm going to show you guys how I sort out Alina's large book collections neatly hidden away. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first thing I want to briefly talk about is the process of using toy rotation. Toy rotation is exactly what it sounds like. Instead of having all the toys in the house out at once, you only keep a few toys out at a time. I personally love this system. It works really well to prevent our home from becoming overwhelmed with toys and it also prevents Alina from getting bored of her toys. There is actually something called toy fatigue. This happens when your child has too many toys available to them. So we typically only have about 8 to 10, sometimes up to 12 toys out on the shelf at any given time and the rest of our toys are stored away. Same with Alina's books. We don't have all of the books out available to her. We have about 10 books out on the bookshelf and the rest of her books are stored away. Now you guys might be wondering, so where are the rest of our toys and books? This is actually supposed to be a guest bedroom but since COVID we haven't had any guests so I've been just collecting and dumping all the stuff in here and as you can see it's a hot mess. This is the perfect example of what happens to your house when you do toy rotation but don't have a maintainable toy organization system. Honestly, I'm embarrassed but I wanted to show you guys the real behind scenes before I tackle the space because it doesn't always look pretty or perfect. So first, I'm going to clean out this room because my parents are coming over from Korea for a couple of weeks so the room needs to be ready. These toys are for 6 to 12 months. I don't have a ton of Montessori baby toys because I didn't know Montessori when Alina was young, but I'm planning to do lots of Montessori activities and DIYs with my baby number 2 from birth, so stay tuned if you're interested. And these are the Montessori toys for young toddlers, but like cheaper versions of it, which you can buy from AliExpress, Target or Kmart. Every time I mention that we try to do wooden toys or I do toy rotations, people think that you have to be really rich, but that's actually not the case. You don't have to buy authentic Montessori toys in the home setting. There are so many alternatives and cheaper options available, and you can always DIY things. I have a video all about how to DIY Montessori activities for toddlers, so if you're on a budget but really want to introduce Montessori activities to your child, I'll be sure to link them down below for you to check out. These are all of our language activities. We have DIY matching cards, lots and lots of flashcards both in Korean and English, and wooden matching cards in this bin. In the next bin, we have Alina's Montessori-inspired wooden toys that Alina still loves to play with, but they are currently stored away because there are other toys that she's more interested in or because she's just had enough of it for a while. Even if you think your child is well and truly done with certain toys and you think your child has already mastered it, don't think your child won't play with them anymore. From my own experience, when I reintroduced some of those activities back on the shelf that she used to play with when she was a lot younger, most of the time she was excited to see them again and she was instantly drawn to it. That's the beauty of toy rotation because when your child asks for new toys, instead of buying something new, you can just simply bring another toy from storage that your child played a couple of months ago. And I honestly think that the amount of money I've spent in toys is a lot less than what the average household would spend. 
These are from Kmart. I've been looking for this type of storage drawers for a long time and I finally found something that fits perfectly into a hallway closet that's big enough and deep enough to hold bits and bobs. These are the Montessori sound cylinders that I DIY'd a few months ago and these are the color mixing jars that I DIY'd. They've been really well loved by Alina and I'm going to keep them for later rotation as well as for our baby number two. This is a file folder from Kmart and it makes a perfect storage solution for puddles and these are some of the random loose parts that don't fit into any categories in here. Now I'm going to label the bins in the drawers. I got this label maker from Amazon and I love 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 it. It's easy to use, it does its job and I'm very happy with the purchase. I'll link it down below as well. My parents haven't been to Australia since I got married because of COVID so they haven't been to our home yet, they haven't met Alina yet so it's really special that they're finally able to come and visit us so I want to make sure the guest room is nice and clean and welcoming.
this is the next room that I'm gonna tackle. This room is meant to be our office slash music room, but it never functioned that way ever, and it's just a room full of junk right now. I've collected a lot of books, mainly Korean books, because we live in Australia, so I've been collecting secondhand Korean books whenever there is a chance. And at this point, we are out of space, and they've been just sitting on the floor. So during the last Christmas holiday, we've sold most of our old furniture in this room with the IKEA buyback program and bought two more IKEA bookcases. So we're going to put all of our books around the house in this room. I think having all of the books in one spot will make it easier to do book rotation for Alina. We finally assembled it all and I'm so excited to see so much space for Alina's books. This was something that I really wanted to get it done before the baby comes and before my tummy gets bigger. So I am really thankful for my husband. I just want to quickly tell you guys that I create videos about Montessori at home, Montessori activity ideas and Montessori inspired home makeover. So if that sounds like something you want to watch more of, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you're enjoying this video right now, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I've been getting lots of comments requesting book recommendations recently and I haven't been able to share a lot because as you can see the books we have at the moment are mostly Korean books and they are not available in English. But there are some books we have in English that Alina really really loves so I'll link them down below if you're interested. I'll link down the list of Korean books we have as well. So this is it. I hope this video gives you guys some ideas and inspiration. If you have any tips of your own for toy rotation in your home, please be sure to share with them with us in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!